Alright, so I pulled out the motherboard <clears throat> and this is how it's going to look. Uh, when you're pulling it out, just be careful with all these uh, cables and little wires so you don't uh, rip them, especially your Wi-Fi right there. When you uh, unscrew that screw, um, I used a screwdriver with a, a bit on it like so, so I'd have more torque. Uh, I tried one of those little screwdrivers, those tiny ones for like, you know, eyeglasses or whatever, and uh, it really didn't work too well because you couldn't have uh, make any torque out of the screwdriver, or uh, you'd strip the screw. But yeah, that's it right there, and it comes out of that little spot right there. And as soon as you're unscrewing it, make sure you press like one finger down, like right where the white sticker is, just so that the uh, cables uh, don't pop out. On that, that are soldered together there because uh, this will lift at an angle right here this part right here hooks up to the motherboard and uh, you just don't want to snap anything because uh, very very small piece here so um, other than that yeah there's what's left of that and uh, now I just got to remove the the heat sink and the processor I already ripped out the uh, RAM which is easy it's just uh, uh, two pins or two clips or whatever right here and they open like so like that and that's it it's really easy and then it's just the four screws here on the uh, fan and uh, yeah and I can remove that and give you guys another video of how to um, install the new uh, fan heat sink thing with the thermal compound and uh, yeah.